Hello everyone, Benjamin Studios here for another episode of Misfit Hero Analysis. So, I did add two new Misfit Heroes, that's the reason why I'm doing their episode. So, I had Roddy St. James from Flushed Away and Florence from the Magic Roundabout. I know you got pretty mad about that one because she's weird looking, but I can't help myself. Her shoes are so cute. Oh my god. But now that we're ready for another Mr. Hero character, let's move on to our next character that we're going to talk about. So that's what we do. Alright, here we are. Got my next character right here. So, next character I'm talking about shall be... Oh my gosh! You know, <laughs> I was just talking about him. So, the only thing I'm going to say is that we were just talking about this guy just now. Just a couple minutes ago. I just, I, I just added him. So... He is probably voiced by Hugh Jackman, and he's one of the under pretty underrated Ardman characters. That's all I'm gonna say. We need to get downstairs and pull out that cable. Oh, well, that was fast. I just started talking about this character at the beginning of the video, and now I gotta talk about him? Woo! That was a long time ago. That was really fast. Okay, Roddy St. James from Flushed Away. One of the newest Misfit Hero characters beside Florence. I added this character because the biggest reason why is because Flushed Away was a box office bomb in theaters. And that had to be the biggest reason because, well, what other reason do I have here? Another reason is that not many people remember the movie because it was a box office bomb. Not to mention that he was only loved at the beginning by his family. But then that Sid character, the rat who wanted to replace him, flushed him down the toilet and made him go to the city, which where he wanted, where he wanted to stay now because he had his own girlfriend, Rita. I do understand why people don't like this movie that much. It's because it was a box office bomb and, the, and, and Ardman is not at its best in this movie, but I still like this movie overall. In fact, I thought it was actually great. I thought I liked the movie, especially with this character. Rita is voiced by a different character, or a different voice actor, actress, but I know Roddy's is voiced by Hugh Jackman, and he is also in The Greatest Showman, uh, Missing Link, and a bunch of other character characters, I think. I don't remember, there's one more, but I can't remember who it is. And now, because he's a rat, he also has to be a small character, just like Plankton or Flick. Which means that he is a small character that can easily be stepped on by, uh, by bigger Mr. Heroes. Especially the BFG, Optimus Primal, and Reshiram. One thing I'll never understand is that this is also the movie that made Ardman close down their, their recalibration with DreamWorks. It's because they did not want to box up this bomb like it did with them with Chicken Run and Great Walls and Drum at the Crystal Wear Rabbit, which are both movies I haven't seen yet, but I still plan to watch them overall. There is another movie that was made by Ardman, but it was made by, well, you know. The Pirates Band of Misfits was made by Sony with them um, with Armin. And now Armin is just doing its own thing. Making Sean the Sheet movie. And I think that's about about it. Oh, oh yeah, there's a, there's a sequel to Chicken Run 2 coming out this December. I forgot about that net right now. Just like Plankton and Flick, his character, Roddy St. James, is really good at doing small projects with like Plankton and Flick do. But he's not good at inventing anything like Flick does. And Plankton. Plankton is good at making inventions, and he, Roddy, doesn't do that. Sadly, I don't have that much to say about this character. I just, remember, I just added the character, so if I had to talk about him right now, it's not that much to say about him yet. He just needs more, needs more character development, in my opinion, I guess. Just like with the characters in the Mario movie, somehow. 
Well, see you guys in the next Mr. Hero analysis this episode. I hope I get someone that is like way older as a Mr. Hero than this character is. Not that I didn't enjoy talking about this character at all. I enjoyed talking about him because I like to do with any Misfit Hero. <laughs> but I just want a character that might not might be easier to talk about. Like Tails. Tails would be a lot to talk about. See you guys.